Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video by me, Devin Ersoy. Today I'm going to show you how to turn on and off your computer remotely via a program called TeamViewer. Keep in mind that in order to do this you need to have uh, LAN enabled, which means that you need to have your Ethernet plugged in. Go to, this is most likely set on your machine already, but go to the Windows key, search for Device Manager. Click on the first thing that pops up and you will be greeted by a list such as this. You will be noticing that there's a network adapters. Click on network adapters and then find your adapter here. Mine is the Realtek PCI GB family controller. So I'm going to right click on that and select properties. Next, I will go on to advanced. And in the advanced, I will scroll down until I find a uh, property called wake on magic packet I click on that and make sure the value is enabled rather than disabled it's most likely going to be enabled again but this is to double check and then once you're done with that you click on ok alright so for this next step you're going to need to enter into the UEFI BIOS settings and this is different for every computer but because mine uh, I'll just show you how I do it on mine real quick. So we have this power button. Make sure to click the power button. And you, uh, once the screen boots up, you're going to have to click a certain button. Now you may click either Escape F, Escape F2 or Dell, depending on what computer you have. All right, so now that you're in the Asus UEFI BIOS utility, I'll provide in the description for other BIOSes that you could also use. But what you should do is you go to advanced mode for my particular thing, click OK, and then you'll go to advanced. And from there, you should see a, you should, wait one second, you go back and then you go to APM. You should be at APM, advanced APM. And there should be something like in power on by PME device or power on by, uh, ACIE device, it should be something like that. You should have this enabled, and this will allow you to uh, access your computer. Now you're ready to roll. Next, it's time to download TeamViewer. TeamViewer can be accessed by going to a website called teamviewer.com, clicking on download free, and setting it all up. Once you're done accessing TeamViewer, open it up and then you'll be greeted by a window that looks like this. In order to set up Wake on LAN, click on Extras, then Options. Once you're there, go to General and then you will see a uh, network settings called Wake on LAN. You click on configure and you have to assign the device to your account so make sure to sign in to this following your account setup you most likely will get an email that looks a little bit like this make sure to just simply add to trust the devices and you will be set up for that now you're almost done all you have to do is make sure that incoming LAN connections is set to accept you also have to Click configure for Wake on LAN and change this to other team viewer within your local network. And then you simply put in your team viewer ID, which you can find in the home page, which for mine is uh, 704-594-583. And then click add. Now this should be within your no local network, this ID and you click OK. Alright, so now I'm on my Android phone and it doesn't matter, you can do this on both Android and on iOS, but you should see once you've installed the app on any device, you can do this on a computer or a phone. I'm just showing it on a phone because it's more accessible for me. You click on computers for this, for this Android phone and you see that you, you may see that all your other computers ha may have this like outgoing connection but they're offline and that won't work but this one with the power button is which is the one I set up if you just click on that 
See, I just clicked it now. It should be able to open your computer. And if it doesn't open, there might be some other problem, but that's what it did for my computer and hopefully it works for you. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Hope this video helped you out and you should theoretically be able to open this computer from anywhere you want now. So don't forget to leave a like and comment down if you have any trouble and I'll see you later. Beep!